Hey there guys, what is going on? I got a very special one for you here today and this is gonna be part of a new series going forward. We are taking a look at the best class setup for every gun in the game. And we are of course starting off with the assault rifles here today. The first thing you look at when you open the game mostly, and this is gonna be in order. So if you are looking for a timestamp or a specific class setup, make sure you do check the loading bar and the description for those. And just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I massively appreciate it and it really does help me out of course. We are looking for 5,000 subscribers very soon and 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you could help me achieve that, that would be absolutely insane. So let's talk about our best class setups for every single gun, starting with the assault rifles here in Cold War. Now, some of these class setups will work better as an eight attachment class setups, and some of them do work better as a five attachment class setup. And we will point those out as we go. For the most part, the secondaries, tacticals, lethals, field upgrades, and of course the perks are gonna be up to you. And they're gonna be mostly the same throughout most of these class setups. And I will point out where they are different here. So we're gonna start off with the first one on the list here, which is the XM4. And this is the class setup they are working at the moment. The XM4 attachments are fairly interesting. And for the most part, you're gonna to wanna to run this as an eight attachment class setup because there's not really a great combination that you can make with five attachments that's gonna be as powerful as this. Of course, we are running the dual wield magnums in the secondary slot. Tactical is the stim shot, sam text jam in the field upgrade and lethal slots. Perks, we're going with Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. And the wild card, of course, we are going for Gunfight, as we mentioned already. In the attachments for the XM4, this is what we're going with here. You will take a look at the Microflex LED or your preferred optic in this slot. I mean, the iron sights on this thing aren't fantastic, but they're not the worst, so this is, of course, up to you. I usually go with the Microflex LED on most of these. Then in the muzzle slot, we're going for this one, the SOCOM Illuminator. This does give us 15% increase to our vertical recoil control, which is a massive increase here, meaning we can hit the target as easily and as hard as possible here. Then in the barrel, we're going with that Ranger barrel for a 100% increase to our bullet velocity this is absolutely massive for this weapon this does actually take our bullet velocity to 1100 meters per second which is absolutely fantastic and will really help with our hit detection in this game then of course we move to the body slot here we are going for the sof target designated this does give us a 60 percent increase to our reveal distance when we are aimed down sight which is a fantastic bonus here then in the underbarrel slot, we're going for the big bad, the field agent grip for a 3% increase to our vertical recoil control and 17% increase to our horizontal recoil control. A really nice increase as well. In the magazine slot, we're going for the SAS mag clamp so we don't nuke our aim down side speed. Really, really nice option here for getting those fast, really, really fast reloads. Then in the handle slot, you're going for that serpent wrap for a 25% increase to our aim down side speed with only a 10% minus to sprint to fire speed. And then the stock slot, you want that buffer tube for a 30% increase to that sprint to fire speed to combat the loss that we do get from the handle. Again, you will see a lot of similar attachments on this list, but in terms of the best attachments that we want to go with with the XM4, this is a very, very good loadout, man. This is what you want to run with at the moment. Great combination of all the statistics that we did take about here. The next gun on our list is, of course, the AK-47, and this is a five attachment class setup. You do not need eight attachments on this thing, and you definitely don't need an optic. Nobody runs an optic on the AK, man. These iron sights on this thing are just so super clean, you just don't need to. The secondary is, again, whatever you do want it to be. We're just running a random 1911 here. Don't worry about that too much. Of course, Stim Shot, Semtex, and Jammer in these three slots in the middle. We're rocking Perk Greed because we don't have to run Gunfighter on the AK. So here are our perks. We want Flak Jacket, Forward Intel. Then we want Assassin and Scavenger. And of course, Ghost and Ninja here. So the attachments on the AK-47 would be as follows. Again, five attachments. You don't have to worry about having eight here. It does make it a little bit more powerful, but not significantly so. So don't worry about it too much. Muzzle, we want that Spetsnaz Compensator for a 12% increase to a vertical recoil control. A very nice place to start here. You don't want, really want that KGB eliminated. This only does give us 13% increase to our vertical recoil control versus the Spetsnaz Compensator's 12%. And this does give us more horizontal recoil control negatives in the Eliminator. In the barrel, we are going for that Spetsnaz RPK barrel. This does increase our damage enough so we can get a three shot kill if we are getting a couple of headshots in the mix. This also increases our effective damage range and of course our bullet velocity, meaning we have a better time with our hit detection with this option. You can also take the Liberator as well if you do prefer that. In the underbarrel slot, we are going for the Spetsnaz grip here for a 3% increase to our vertical recoil control and 17% increase to our horizontal recoil control. This is a very, very nice option as well for keeping us on target. In the magazine slot, you are going for the GRU mag clamp, 35% increase to our reload speed is a very, very nice option as well without reducing our aim down side speed too much. And in the handle slot, we are going for that serpent wrap for that aim down side speed increase of 25% while not reducing our sprint to fire speed too much. Again, I said you don't really have to run eight attachments on this thing, but again, you can if you do choose. I still wouldn't run an optic on this thing. The body, again, you would probably run the KGB target designator. And then in the stock slot, you'd probably run like a KGB skeletal stock or a no stock option as well. The next option on our list is of course, this fantastic assault rifle in the Krieg 6. This is a really, really good option in this game. It is an absolute laser beam as you probably expect from the Krieg 6. 
Again, in the secondary, you don't really have to worry about that too much. In these middle slots, you can pretty much choose whatever you do prefer. We're going with the RPG-7 that did get recently buffed. It's a lot of fun to use and does fire quite straight now. Again, tactical stim shot, lethal in the Semtex slot, and of course the field upgrade we want that jammer, but again, up to you, whatever you prefer. Perks, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja, a good combination as well. And as we said, Wild Cards, we want that Gunfighter. Again, this is an eight attachment class setup. As for our attachments here, again, we want to start off with that Microflex LED. Again, the iron sights on this thing are not fantastic. They're actually kind of bad here. They're a bit like narrow. But again, you can choose whatever optic you do prefer, Millstop Reflex, Microflex LED, whatever you do prefer in this slot, Quick Dot, up to you here. In the muzzle slot here, we are going for that SOCOM Eliminator. This does give us a 15% increase to our vertical recoil control. This does reduce our horizontal recoil control by 15%, but in the underbarrel, we'll be able to make up for that loss. In the barrel slot, we're going for that range for a 100% increase to our bullet velocity. Again, this does give us the best time with our heat detection in this game at a bullet velocity of about 1250 meters per second, which is really, really impressive here. In the body slot, again, we are going for the SOF target designator for that reveal distance increase again this is a very very nice option as well but you can take the steady aim laser if you do want more hip fire accuracy which is kind of eh then in the underbarrel as we said already we want that field agent grip for a five percent increase to our vertical recoil control and a 20 percent increase to our horizontal recoil control this does negate the loss that we do get from the socom eliminator as well as giving us five percent on top then in the magazine slot again we want that sas mag clamp for a very fast reload speed with this thing a good nice option here without reducing our aim down side speed in the handle again serpent wrap 25 percent increase to our aim down side speed without reducing our sprint to fire speed as much as the airborne elastic wrap and again in the stock we want that no stock for that sprint to fire speed increase of 30 percent this is a massive bonus here as well but again you can take that Raider stock if you don't really care about the hip fire accuracy with these things. Next, we are moving on to the QBZ, which is not a massively popular weapon in this game, but it's still a pretty good one at that. Again, in the secondary slot, you can choose whatever you do prefer. Again, just a random 1911 that we're not really talking about too much here. We want that stim shot, Semtex, and Jammer in the middle three slots. In the perks, we want Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. Again, these are all pretty much the same, and you can customize this however you do like to play. And again, Gunfighter in that wild card slot. This is one of those weapons, again, that you can't really manage to fit an absolutely fantastic class setup together with five attachments. This weapon does have a few holes that need to be covered up by those attachments, so eight attachments is probably better than five here. Again, for this class setup, we want that Microflex LED or your optic of choosing, Millstop Reflex, Cobra Red Dot, Quick Dot LED, whatever you do prefer in the optic slot. The iron sights in this thing are fine, but again, the Microflex LED is just such a super clean option. Muzzle, again, we want that infantry compensator for a 12% increase to our vertical recoil control here, keeping our shots down nice and easily here. In the barrel, again, we want that Ranger barrel that bullet velocity increase of 100%. This does take our bullet velocity to, uh, what is it, 1250 meters per second, which again, gives us the most consistent hit detection in the game. In the body slot, again, SOF target designator reveal distance increase is really nice here, and we're not super concerned about hip fire accuracy with that steady aim laser. Under barrel slot, again, field agent grip, 3% increase to our vertical recoil control and 16% increase to our horizontal recoil control. Again, magazine, SAS, mag clamp for that very fast reload speed without reducing our aim down side speed too much, but again, you can pretty much choose whatever you do prefer in these magazine slots. Handle slot, again, Serpent Grip for that aim down sight speed increase massively. Really, really important option here without reducing that sprint to fire speed with these assault rifles. And then in the stock, again, that CQB pad or the Raider stock for that sprint to fire speed increase, depending on what you do prefer in this game. If you're not concerned about hip fire accuracy, go with the Raider stock. Next, we have the FFAR, which is another one of those weapons that's kind of lackluster if you are only running five attachments on this thing. This is an eight attachment class setup, and it's actually a fairly powerful weapon in this game. It actually can be quite accurate with the right class setup. And that's what we're about to talk about in a second here. Again, secondary is whatever you do prefer. You can take a shotgun, street sweeper, RPG, whatever you want in this game. It is absolutely fantastic secondaries options in right now. Then in the tactical slot, of course, you want that steam shot, Semtex, and Jammer in those slots again. Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja as well for your perks. But again, customize this however you do prefer. And in the wildcard slot, we are taking Gunfighter here for getting those eight attachments. You can take Perk Greed, but I feel like you need eight attachments on the FFAR1. So the attachments on this particular class setup are going to be fairly similar as we have seen previously, and we will point out where there are differences. Again, the optic on this thing is sort of optional here. The iron sights on this particular weapon are actually quite nice. You've seen them. You've seen them many times in Warzone and Cold War previously. The iron sights on the FFAR1 are quite clean but the Microflex LED does offer a very clear sight picture as well. Muzzle slot, you want to take that SOCOM Eliminator. This does give us the most amount of vertical recoil control here. We're not really super concerned about an 8% loss to our horizontal recoil control. We can make up for that later. This is a good option as well. In the barrel, we want to go with that Ranger barrel. This does give us an absolutely crazy bullet velocity of 1,410 meters per second, which is one of the fastest in the game for my knowledge. 
Absolutely fantastic here. You want those bullets to move as quickly as possible. This does give us the best possible hit detection. Body slot again. The steady aim laser is actually a more viable option with this thing as you do want to be playing for the most part in close quarters. So keep that in mind. But we're going with the SOF target designator as well. But you can pick between these two. Under barrel slot again. We want that field agent grip for that 6% increase where vertical recoil control. But I think that makes it what? Like 23% all up, which is really nice. And 16% increase where horizontal recoil control means we get a positive recoil control on the horizontal side of about 8%. Magazine. This is one of the ones that is different here. We want that salvo 44 round fast mag of course for that very fast reload speed this thing is absolute lightning and goes through its bullets very quickly so you want more bullets to fire and you want a very fast reload speed as well this is basically a mandatory attachment for this option this does reduce our aim down sight speed quite significantly here so in this option we are taking the airborne elastic wrap for a 30 percent increase to our aim down sight speed as well as that flinch resistance and of course aim while going prone this does reduce our sprint to fire speed as well quite significantly, which is kind of annoying here, but we do need that aim dead side speed to go back up as well. And then you want to take that CQB pad again for that to increase that sprint to fire speed. So there is a little bit more to think about with the FFAR1. It is quite an interesting weapon in this game. It's still one of those things that could probably juice a little bit of a recoil reduction, but it's up to you how you do want to play with this thing. And I think it's quite a fun weapon to use still. The next weapon up on our list is, of course, the Grozer here, which is a fairly interesting weapon in this game and did receive a fairly massive buff recently, giving it a lot of damage range. Meaning we can change up our attachment options just slightly. And we, again, are talking about the secondary here. You can choose whatever you do prefer. Tactical, lethal, and field upgrade. Again, you can choose whatever you do prefer. We're going with the stim shot, Semtex, and Jam, the combo again. <laughs> in the perk slot, we're going for that Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. You've heard this all before. And we want to take eight attachments on this thing. Again, it just feels fantastic when we are just running eight of them. So Gunfighter is necessary for this class. So eight attachments on this thing are going to be as follows. With that optic, you can take the Microflex LED, but the iron sights on this thing are quite clean as they are. So this is, of course, up to you. They do remind me of the Grau 556 from Modern Warfare and Warzone. In the muzzle slot, we are taking that KGB Eliminator here. This does give us a massive 20% increase to our vertical recoil control. This does reduce our horizontal recoil control by 15%, but again, in the handle, we are going to be able to mix up for that as well. In the barrel, we are going for that GRU Composite here for a 25% increase to our effective damage range, as well as a big increase to our bullet velocity, making it about... What do we got? 812 meters per second and 66 meters of damage range is a very, very good option in this game. Then again, in the body slot, we want that KGB target designator here again for that 60% increase to our reveal distance when you are playing at those medium to long distances. This can make people easier to see. Then in the underbarrel slot, as I said, we are taking that Spetsnaz grip here for a 7% vertical recoil control increase and 17% increase to our horizontal recoil control. Magazine, group mag clamp again for that very fast reload thing. This is a lightning fast reload with this weapon. In the handle, we are going for that serpent grip for again 25% increase to our aim down side speed without reducing using our sprint to fire speed too much. And in the stock, CQB pad for a 30% increase to our sprint to fire speed makes this a very, very powerful class setup in the game. A very good weapon, super underrated. Check out the Grozer if you haven't been using it too much. And the last weapon on our list is, of course, the Fire 83, which I think is an absolutely fantastic weapon in this game. It's probably my favorite assault rifle right now. This thing goes very, very hard and has such a fantastic bullet velocity and damage range stat. It's kind of hard to beat at those medium to longer distances. Again, your class setup in the secondary slot can be pretty much whatever you do want to use. Here's RPG, shotgun, pistol setup, whatever you do prefer. Tactical, we still go with that stim shot, lethal semtex, and the field upgrade again. You can choose whatever you prefer. Customize this to your liking. Perks again, flak jacket, scavenger, and ninja here. Give us, in my opinion, the best combination and widest coverage here. And then again, in the wildcard slot, we want that gunfighter one for those eight attachments on this thing. We've only had one five attachment class setup on this bad boy, but I feel like most of these assault rifles do really need those eight attachments to make them completely viable. So here we go with our attachments here again. In the optic slot, we want to run that microflex LED to keep us on target, giving us a very nice clear sight picture here. Keep in mind also the Noxover Thermal Sight is a 2.3 times Thermal Sight, which is absolutely hilarious and super strong if you are red, green, colorblind like me. A fantastic attachment as well, so don't sleep on this Thermal Sight. In the Muzzle Slot, we're going for that KGB Eliminator here. This is a very, very powerful attachment. 18% increase to our vertical recoil control is absolutely huge while not reducing our horizontal recoil control that much at all. In the barrel slot, we're taking the Liberator for that massive increase to our bullet velocity. This does take our bullet velocity to 1,350 meters per second, giving us absolutely insane hit detection here. This feels almost like hit scan with this weapon. In the body slot, we're going for that KGB target designator again for a massive increase to our reveal distance, meaning we can see people from further away. In the underbarrel slot, you are taking that Spetsnaz grip for a 2% vertical recoil control increase. Almost seems insignificant here, as well as a horizontal recoil control increase of 18%, which is again an absolutely massive increase here. 
here. Magazine, again, as we have talked about previously, can pretty much choose whatever you do prefer. But again, we do like the GRMU mag clamp for not decreasing our aim down side speed too much and giving us a very fast reload. Then in the handle, we're taking that serpent wrap for that increase to our aim down side speed and not reducing that sprint to fire speed, as we have mentioned previously. And then the stock, that no stock as well for that massive increase to our sprint to fire speed. I do believe this is one of the more powerful assault rifles in this game at fighting at those medium to longer distances. I feel like this is a very, very underrated weapon in this game. It's actually probably my favorite assault rifle right now. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all of the assault rifles in the game and with a class setup for each. These are absolutely fantastic class setups in the game. I think they are very, very powerful. Make sure you do test them out, choose and customize them however you do prefer with your secondaries, your tactical stuff, and even some of the attachments are interchangeable depending on how you do want to run. A lot of the magazines can be switched out. A lot of optics can be swapped out as well. Thank you very much for watching this one. Of course, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I know about 90% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed. So if you could take the time to hit that little red button for me, that would be absolutely massive. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in the next video. Bye.